everything you're going to do in an organization soon is going to have some element of change in it that you're going to be focused on. So whether it's adapting artificial intelligence, it's a reorganization, it's uh, you went through a layoff, a reduction in force, a RIF, or you're about to go through one, you've got a new position you're moving into, you're helping somebody else move into, you've got a new business model, you just did a merger or an acquisition, or you're about to do one, or you're post-merger. And we pay attention to that, and we miss the bigger thing, which is a riptide of societal, cultural, and technological change. This isn't political, but a lot of this stuff has been politicized. And it's distracting people, and it's dividing people, and it's driving down the performance of your organization. So what I think we need to do is figure out how to reduce the distraction, reduce the division, and get people to focus. We have a loneliness epidemic in this country, and I think it's very much tied to how we're divided and distracted. And so I want to look at a few factors that have been driving this for decades. Um, first and foremost, we'll start with church membership. In this country, a lot of people define themselves as being Christian or Judeo-Christian Americans. And until recently, like three quarters of us, or relatively recently, belonged to some sort of church that was part of our identity, whether we went all the time. Now we're below 50% of the population belonging or identifying with being a part of a, a church or religion. PTAs. When you went to school, there was a PTA, or Parent Teacher Association, Parent Teacher Organization. Now it's down to like 20%. Single households, 13% in 1960, 29% today. Single parents, 9% in 1950, 23% today. Across every demographic, we're spending more and more time alone, and we're not interacting with each other. We're not interacting with our neighbors. We're only interacting with people who are in our little bubbles. And I don't care how any of you voted. I guarantee you if we went out there and had a glass of wine, a beer, a cup of coffee, whatever, and sat and talked about what we cared about, we will have so much more in common than we have in difference. It's simply profitable to divide us.